so we're right here with the JBD. Yeah, Jade Hong Kong Bird. Beta Jade Bird display. Yes. Hello, so who are you? Uh, I'm Fan O. Yeah, I'm the CTO of this company. And, and who this are you? is. Uh, my name is Chen Yijing. I'm the staff scientist. All right, okay. so what, what are you showing here? Is this micro LED? Yeah, this is micro LED, micro displays. So um, we believe we have the highest brightness in the world so far. <laughs> so with the shades, then I can see a video? Ah, yes, yes you see it's playing Kung Fu Panda. Whoa, what's the resolution? Uh, for this one, the resolution is for uh, 640 times a, uh, 480. So, uh, so we have a super high resolution right here. So, so what's the resolution here? Uh, so this is 2560 times uh, 1920. Whoa, and it's also super bright? Uh, yes, the, the bright can go to like more than one million nits. One million nits. I have to repeat that. <laughs> one million? Yes. Why, why you need so bright? Um, no, it's just a demonstration. It, yeah. We can show that our chip is very efficient. We don't need to. It can be uh, used for projector. Yeah. 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 This is the CEO yeah. of this yeah. company, Dr. Oh. So, where's the, do you have a projector? Uh, oh, we do have one, this? but during the shipment. This the, is an yeah. AR demonstration. It's a full color AR. Yeah. So, you can put your yeah. eyes here, you, you can see it, I yeah. think. All right, so it's an AR solution. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, I see some, something happening there. Yeah. So a very bright micro display, it's, it's allows, it's too bright. <laughs> it allows for AR? Yes, and yes. The problem with the AR uh, currently is the brightness is not uh, so great. So under, at the outdoor, on the strong ambient light, and then you won't be able to see the image clearly. And so typically the AR display brightness is at uh, 3000 uh, nits yeah. uh, at this moment uh, due to the existing technology limitation. So the micro LED micro display can provide uh, tens, even hundreds of times more bright display for the AR application. So we but believe this is the future AR light engine. Yeah. So it's so bright, but is it too bright? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, 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 <laughs> we can always bright. ramp it down. <laughs> you know, it's the capability. You know, the other display technology like Aircos, uh, DLP, or OLED just cannot get that bright. So it, it, we, we can always reduce the current and to make it less bright. Why is it good for projector? Huh? How is it good for projector to be very bright? Since the projector, you need to, you know, uh, magnify the small image into a large screen. So that, uh, you know, it, uh, the brightness reduces uh, proportional to the, uh, the ratio of the area. Right now, uh, they're all doing with the lamp, right? Yeah. A yeah. lamp or LED? LED. Uh, yeah. But the laser also? Uh, laser, with the laser, uh, the laser is the best, but there's no true laser projector. It's typically, since there's no efficient uh, uh, green laser existed uh, out there. So typically, it's, uh, uh, they use the blue laser and then phosphorus to convert it into green and uh, red. So that's, it's not a true laser projector. It's a laser light source. It's, just it's a, a laser light source, you know, for blue uh, color, it's just uh, laser out. But for the green, it has to convert it through the phosphorus. So it's, uh, it's not laser anymore. It's a uh, uh, spontaneous emission. So how soon is a micro LED projector ready? Uh, you say you have a sample, right? Yeah, we have sample. How good is it? Hmm. Uh, for small area projector, it should be ready, you know, next year. Yeah. And but, it will be good? Full uh, color? Uh, full color, color? Full color. Because yeah. these demos are only one color, right? Yeah. yeah but uh, this, full color. this is the full color. It's full so color right here. We combine the uh, red, grew, uh, green and the blue through a uh, color combining prism. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. see, uh, so I'm seeing power or something, about the 74. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Still very bright. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, so uh, AR, projector, what else? TV? Are you going to make TV? No, like the scope. 
you know, the rifle scope. Uh, right now, the sniper has a team of two, spotter and the sniper. So the spotter you know, have a big scope, it has all the information displayed, like wind speed, uh, all this kind of thing. And but with this, uh, you know, efficient uh, and uh, high brightness display, you can, and uh, compact size, you can integrate it into the rifle scope. So the sniper will see the information when he's aiming at something. But there's no si <laughs> snipers in Hong Kong, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just uh, one type okay. of application. One it's of the for customer. export. Export to the U.S., right? Mm -hmm. I'm uh, joking. Uh, okay. Military yeah. is uh, actually some potential customer contacted us for their nice. application, and also like for 3D printing. Uh, instead of a single uh, spot scanning through, we have a you know image. You know you can you know uh, cure the 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 the, 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 the uh, instantly on the surface. You know the the, the, the whole two D array. We can you know uh, and also maskless lithography. You know many applications. Uh, it has up display for the automobile. Yeah. So uh, what, are, what are we looking at right here? What is this? This is a wafer? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's just like a... This is, is that real? Is it going to be like this? This is a real wheel. Yeah. So if the, you cut this chip down and put it here on the driving board, it takes. Yeah. How do you make this? So it's based on the standard semiconductor process. Yeah. We will this make it like this. So using this wafer, we have nine chips. You see on the, on the brochure, we have some images. Like this one, it's doing it's this kind of wafer. Then we can do in the wafer level test. Yeah, oh. you can see these are the probes. Probes on it, yeah. then we can just yeah. drive the wafer to display image directly. So this is just to demonstrate our uh, technology is wafer level, mass manufacturable. Really? Yeah. yeah. And it's working? How's the yield? The yield, uh, now... Secret. Right now it's still good. Reason, yeah, reason, reason. so... I believe this yield can be as high as 70% uh, once we uh, refining our process step by step. So how is it going to be the price for the micro LED technology compared to other micro display? Cheap. Very cheap. Cheaper? Cheap. Yeah, cheap. right now I yeah. think based on our current situation, uh, we, we estimate the cheap price will be around 10 to $20. Uh, so depends the, on the size. Yeah, depends, depends, on, depends on the size. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to... Uh, OLEDs and uh, uh, those things, I think it's much cheaper. Yeah. Ten times cheaper? What do you Not ten times, but uh, cheaper. Uh, I will yeah, say. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll say. You know, currently, like a DLP is cost like one hundred dollars a chipset, uh, and uh, us, uh, I believe, is around uh, like uh, thirty, fifty dollars. How soon is yeah. this mass production? The mass production. Uh, we uh, we're planning the. Uh, prototyping, you know, small quantity production, you know, early next year. So it depends on the customer, you know, quantity, and it could enter into mass production in 2020. So do you think? Uh, uh, do you think you're the best in my quality? Yes, we are the best. Why? Yeah. How do you how do you become the best? <laughs> if you look around. You know, if you look at the, you know, the uh, what's available uh, in the technology space, and this is the best. Yeah. Yeah.